So I'm going to be showing you how to mass message an image to all of the contacts. Uh, you can also use this method to send it to individuals, or you can just edit a bit and um, have it how you wish. Um, so I'm sorry for the lack of uploads recently. Because of that, I'm going to try and get two to three videos out today just to make up for lost time. Um, so I hope you enjoy those videos as well as this one. Um, so let's get started straight away with this. We're going to be using a uh, picture box because um, we want to select the image that we want to send first. Um, so that we'll just, that size will do. Uh, we also want a button to load the image in. Uh, so let's just do that, or whatever the, the name of this thing is. There it is. Um, so select image, that'll be fine. And we also can copy that button, um, and that will be called send message. So if we go into the select image code, what we're going to be using is uh, an open file dialog with, like I've showed you quite a lot in the past. Um, so we can call this dim, we'll just call it pick. Um, that'll be equal to a new open file dialog. We can say if pick dot dialog uh, dot show dialog sorry is equal to dialog result OK, then what we want to do is say back uh, picture box, which I believe should be number two because we use number one for the avatar grabber, and we want to say dot background image is equal to image dot from file. Um, so that's basically uh, we can select a file name from our computer to load into the image uh, picture box and obviously that file name is going to be the one we selected so we can say pick dot file name and that that's, uh, should now load our little picture box with an image that uh, we can choose any image one thing you might want to do is press this little arrow and go to size mode and select center image because this uh, the size of this box we can actually check how big it is um, it's a hundred by ninety and so if if someone loads an image bigger than that obviously it's going to be bigger but if we center it you'll sort of see the middle here it looks a bit better than having the top corner here and the right corner could be all the way down here depending on the image size um, or you could press auto size there's a lot of scaling options here but center image will be fine so now let's get into the sending of the message. So once someone presses that button, um, we want to check if an image is loaded, because if it isn't, we don't want to allow them to um, send it. So what we can say is we can say if picture box uh, two dot image is, um, is not nothing, then we can send it because uh, if you get your head around that if it's not nothing then something's in it it's pretty much so if something is in it we do our code here else um, we don't want to send so we can say message box dot show um, please select an image first but if there is an image we can go ahead and send it so what we want to say First of all, uh, we need to use the mass message methods we've used in the past. Now, I won't do all of the, um, wherever I have the mass message, I'm not even sure where it is. Here it is. So on this one I have all the online, you could do that here but I'm not going to cover it. You can see the online, offline. You could do that. Um, all I want is this piece of code. Um, so we can type that out and we've gone over that quite a lot of times in the past so we can say um, for each user a skype for com lib dot user in skype dot friends mm. and that's basically getting every user in your friends list pretty much and now that allows us to do something for each user in this case send a message but what we want to do first is set, because we're going to be using send keys for this, um, we're going to set the image in our box to the clipboard because we're going to use control and V 
to paste the image in the box. That's how this is going to work. So we can say clipboard dot set image. And the image we want to set is just going to be picture box two dot image. So now our clipboard is going to be set to whatever is in been loaded into this picture box. Now what we want to do is go to our client. So Skype uh, Skype dot client dot open message open message dialog wherever that is. I believe I might have shown you this a few videos back. So let me quickly go have a look. Um, I might have I've possibly shown that uh, but I can't seem to remember we used it for something using send keys it might have been the AFK but actually um, so anyway that's the open message dialog and what we want to open is the user dot handle so each user is going to open this dialog for them and once that's open we want to skype dot client dot focus and we need to fo what that will do is it will bring up skype uh, it will bring up skype because we need that for the send keys so now let's actually execute that send keys dot send and what we want to send is the upper arrow and in brackets a capital V which it will paste paste the image into the chat and then after that in curly brackets we can say enter in all caps and that will paste it control V and press enter which will send the message um, but because it's trying to do this so fast that you could possibly get errors because I've I've got errors in the past um, just because it's going so fast uh, there's one way to sort of not get the error but it's probably not the best way to do it but it works and what you can say is on error resume next now this bit of code you should you shouldn't really need to ever use it but it basically it will just say if there's an error then just carry on doing what it's got to do um, it will ignore the error um, and it works fine for this bit of code because you'll see if you make this and take this bit out it will work but some some users it just doesn't go through and it will get slightly messed up but this it will it will sort it out and it works fine now I'm not actually gonna send a mass message to all my users for the test of this because you know people get annoyed with mass messages um, but I will load an image in or something and show you that it works. Uh, if you want to see this working, it's actually in my Skype tool. So, um, actually, I don't have an image, so I can save this picture, and then I'll go to this one, wherever I put it, select image, go to my desktop, uh, select that one. You can see there's the image and I'll press send but obviously I'm not going to do it and it will send it. You could also have another button actually um, because let's say you load one which you don't want. You could also just select another one but for the sake of this you could put another button in. Instead of select image you could call it clear image and uh, the code for this should just be picture box 2 maybe clear image it's been a while since I've looked at this let's have a look because I know you can uh, I know you can wipe it but I'm just not sure off the top of my head what it's called um, it's got to be in here somewhere maybe it's maybe we could just set the image location to null in that case and that will clear it but I'm pretty sure there's something in here that clears it I can't seem to find it it's probably right in front of me um, but I can't seem to find it so because of that what I'm going to do is set the image location and that requires a URL and I'll just set that to nothing and that will clear it in that case um, if that even is going to clear it I don't think so um, so yeah sorry about that mess uh, I will leave that like that and I'll put a notification on the screen with the
clear code because I, for some reason I've just forgot what it is. Um, but yeah, other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time.